Hey guys, my name's Jeff. Welcome and or welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, fantastic. Take a seat, stay a while. And if you haven't been here before, take a seat, stay a while. Cause today I'm gonna show you a brand new camera backpack that I just got. Now first, I just wanna tell you why I got this. I'm a professional photographer here in Seattle and I do a lot of headshot portrait photography all around town. And then I travel, I'm in planes, going here, going there, and when I'm out and about, I don't wanna have a big bag. If my camera bag is too big, it's just not gonna come with me or I'm gonna decide I should just leave my camera at home. So I was looking for something that could protect. I just got a new camera, I wanna bring it with me, but I don't want the camera bag to be so big that I ditch it and leave it and just take pictures with my phone. So first I'm gonna show you the camera backpack that I got a couple weeks ago. So I got this, it was uh, advertised on Amazon, it's called the Nurax and you know, it's a it's does the trick, right? It's big, it's, it's like a huge backpack but you know, without getting too much into it, you've seen bags like this before, I'm sure. I mean, it's it's real well padded, but it's got the whole space there for probably eight or 10 lenses and your camera and your chargers and everything. But you know, if this is the backpack, take a look. It's like you're going on a expedition with this thing. And if it's in my car, it's gonna take up a lot of space in the back. And so, it's also just something like you lug this. You would lug this backpack around and it would not be a lot of fun. And you'd probably leave it at home. You'd leave that at home and then you'd just have your camera on your side. And now, you know, if you're traveling, if you're in another country, everyone's seeing you walking around with this camera on your side. And it's just not the way you wanna move through the city. Especially if you live in a city and you're doing photojournalism, you can't have a huge backpack. It just doesn't make sense. So, without further ado, as they say, this is the box, and we're gonna get into this. So, here we go. All right. Voila, as they say. All right, here it is. Now, as you can probably already see, it's in the plastic bag. Let me just get this twisty and stuff out of here. So this is a whole different deal. Look at this. For comparison's sake, This, this, all right, so what I like about this is it's real nondescript. I mean, you wouldn't know this is just some book bag. This looks like a backpack. And there are a couple features on this that appealed to me when I checked it out. Um, it's got a nice little clip here. So the way this little clip works is it just comes out of the way like this and this is like a messenger bag thing and you can put stuff up here. They put a little plastic thing. But you can put like a jacket or a sweatshirt or something like that in the top and then close it and roll it down and just clip it like this, which is pretty cool. But what sets this particular backpack apart is the place you put the lenses and the camera and stuff is right here. It's against your back. So when you're traveling, this is sealed off from the outside world. And when you check it out, there you go. And this is just the right size. I got a Sony a7 IV and a 
a zoom lens, Tamron <laughs> zoom. And so you can put the camera right there and the zoom lens there and then you got more spaces here for more lenses. But this is just so cool the way this is made. And you know, you could just set this down on the ground or on a table. If you need to access your stuff, it's right there. Zips up. And then on this side here, you've got another zipper compartment and This here would hold your iPad or a laptop or something like that. This has got a cool little pocket right in there. That would hold like a 13 inch laptop, I think, like a MacBook Pro or an iPad. And then you can put devices. You could put an iPhone or whatever, some chargers or other devices up here. And it's, it's pretty roomy considering it's just a little add-on. On the side, it looks like we got a little, oh, we got the tripod holder. You can put a tripod here and that there. Uh, the feet, the legs of the tripod. And on this side, it looks like we got a mesh pocket so you could put a bottle of water over here on this side. And um, these are nicely padded. I guess the demo would be, there you go. I haven't really cinched that down, but you get the idea. This is a much, more streamlined backpack. And um, it's just got a nice slim form factor and it's super light. I think the specs on this is it's a three pound pack. That's it. Um, I can barely feel that it's on right now. But you could put in your camera and your lenses and you could walk around. And this is definitely a pack you could take with you if you traveled because you know, you're not going to bump into it, like, but you could turn around, you could move around, you could walk through places, and you're not going to be bumping into people. This one here, yeah, you could take some people out wearing this. This is big. This is like suitcase. This is a suitcase without the wheels. And speaking of that, there's one other thing that this backpack has that's pretty cool. It's sort of a stealthy, nice little feature. It's got a strap here. I don't know if you can see it little strap right across here and this is made to cinch on or slide on to the handle for a rolling cart so if you're traveling your camera bag can just go on to the top of your suitcase your luggage and I have um, a bigger case that I use for all my headshot equipment you know I, I bring lights and they're heavy and I've got my cameras and lenses from my last system and so that there is pretty heavy and that's on a rolling cart and so this could go along with it if I want to bring a second camera system with me. My guess is I might just find a way to get my lights and stuff into a small case like this. And then I could bring this with my camera and have another small case for my, uh, for my lighting gear. In any case, this is a really nice lightweight bag. I haven't really had a chance to walk around and use it yet, but I just wanted to show you kind of what it looked like and just that it's a different kind of camera bag than what I'm used to. It's small, it's lightweight. And the one tip I would give you is I was just on the Tenba website. Tenba's the company that makes this. Oh, by the way, this is called the Fulton 14L version two. I went to the Tenba website and they mentioned that they have a weatherproof version of this backpack. It's only like 10 bucks more and they've waterproofed the zipper area where it goes, I think, around the, um, the laptop compartment I showed you, that little outside. So it's waterproofed, and I think the whole bag itself has some kind of a waterproofing. So if I were getting a bag like this and I had known about it, I might just spring for the one that's resistant to the water because I live in Seattle. And even if I didn't, I'm probably gonna travel places. Oh, and it also comes with a bag that you can put over this backpack and it's silvery on one side, so if it's really hot out where you are, if it's really sunny and you're shooting out in the desert or something, it reflects a lot of that heat away from your camera gear. And if you wanna be kind of inconspicuous, it folds inside out and it's got a black side and that looks very stealth. And so you can go under the radar. Anyways, uh, I'm loving this so far, even though I haven't used it yet, but um, I'm gonna give it a whirl. I can't wait to, uh, 
use the new Sony camera, the mirrorless uh, a7 IV, and also use it in this backpack and see if I can get a little bit more mobility with my camera setup because honestly, with my Canon system and the heavier uh, DSLR with the lenses, that was staying home when I wasn't on a shoot. I wasn't bringing that out with me unless I really had to going on vacation but it'd be nice to have some gear that I could bring with me and it didn't feel like it was just weighing me down you know to leave wherever I was staying and bring the camera with so thank you for stopping by oh by the way uh, if you want to check out my work if you haven't seen it I think you would like my photos of animals and donuts I've got a website called animal donut and you can go check that out I take really creative cool photos where I take animals and I take donuts and I bring these two disparate items together into one photo. And the other thing I wanted to tell you just about this channel is that I'm putting some videos up about investing in stocks and also in index funds, index fund ETFs. Um, it's just something that I started doing in my 20s when I began my photo business and I just think it's a really useful thing if no matter what field you're in but if you're in a creative field like photography and you're responsible for your own investing business and money in the future I just think it makes sense to take some money rather than just saving it in a bank account where it's gonna earn nothing over time you could put it in an investment account and I think a lot of creative people a lot of photographers don't get taught don't get much of an education even if they go to film school or whatever on their financials and on investing for the future so this worked real well for me I put some money into the market every month it's real simple it's easy you can set it and forget it if you want or you can take a more hands-on active approach but whatever you do I think especially if you're just starting out in photography and you know that in the future you might want to buy a house or save up some money for whatever. Uh, I think learning how to invest makes a lot of sense. It's something I'm real fortunate I learned how to do in my 20s and I continue to this day. So anyways, if you want to check out some of the other videos on my channel, uh, they go everywhere from the, the beginning videos. If you're just starting out and want to learn about what an index fund in or is or what an ETF is, you can learn about that and if you're more interested in buying stocks I've got some videos about learning about and studying stocks so that you can become a more intelligent and informed investor so uh, I'm glad you stopped by I hope the info on this cool backpack is helpful uh, let me know what you think put some comments below if you like the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that way you'll get a heads up whenever I make a new video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.